Yes, Mr. Baloy. As a quick piece, my lord, just during the short adjournment, um, there was a scuffle between the prison warders and some of the accused. It's not precisely clear what led to what the nature of the um, incident is that led to, to, to the scuffle. We just thought that we want to place that on record. Um, Which accused are those? Um, we saw accused number three. Um, and, and uh, accused number three, four, and five. So they were involved in a scuffle? Yes, with, with a, 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 a prison warder. With, with a warder or it, with a warders? A, a, a prison warder specifically. Uh, we, we just saw one at some point, and his colleagues later came to, to, to his rescue. But it was a physical confrontation. Was it? Yes. Mr. Mnisi. The client, I'm told, accused number three was involved in a scuffle. We've taken instructions to the court to understand what was happening. Um, it's true, there was a bit of a, of a noise as I turned around. Hello? I'm saying it's true that the, I had a commotion because I was looking forward, but when I turned around, I saw a gentleman like that, this huge gentleman. And he, he, he hit accused number three with his shoulder. So I don't know. I don't know how he started, but that is what I saw. He hit accused number three with his shoulder. I think in the process, then accused number three tried to defend himself. So, but how it started, I really don't know. Is that all you can tell the court? That, that's what I, I saw, my lord. Okay, fine. Yeah. I, I, I can take further instructions. Yeah, please do. Thank you. My lord, may I also in the meantime yes, take yes, instructions? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I will do the same, man. Is it please the court, my lord? Mm. Apparently what I'm, I'm getting from accused number three is the fact that um, when it is adjournment, they would then stand up in order to stretch themselves, and at some point they would see to where they are resting uh, their backs. There's a bit of a bench there where they would sit in order to stretch themselves. Apparently the gentleman that I've just pointed out to the court does not take kind to that. And they are saying in each case that is, or he is saying 
that in each case that the gentleman is here at court, he would command them to sit as they are seated here <coughs> now, as if the court is still in process. Um, but today, specifically, what happened, he approached them again and said to them they should sit down as they are seated here, even though it is a gentleman. And then, according to accused number three, he then uttered the weight. If they do not want to comply with his instructions, it's going to hit them. Mabena Funi, Ugenza Lugo, Akshoyo, Uzo Bashai. So then they said, no, but this is adjournment. We are entitled to stretch our leg because we sit here for more than two hours. So we can't continue sitting um, like this, even when it is um, adjournment. We need to stretch our leg. So he did not take kind to that. So then he started to to hold him and then he hit him with the shoulder. Then I choose number three, then also had to stand up to what of those blows, but by not in the way of retaliation as it would be understood. He was actually trying to 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 to, to what of those blows that I, that the gentleman here was trying to administer on him. That is the version that I'm getting. Thank okay. You. Yes, Mr. Mumalo. Thank you. Thank you, my lord, for the court's indulgence. The, the instruction that I'm getting, or the version that I'm getting, is similar to the one of uh, uh, my colleague, uh, Advocate Nisi. Uh, he tells me that uh, it was during uh, the adjournment, the tea break adjournment, when he was approached by the member of the Correctional Services, <coughs> which has been pointed out by my colleague, uh, to sit properly. Uh, he says that uh, they've been sitting uh, in that fashion throughout uh, the, the, the adjournments. So what surprised him was that it was only for the first time today that the member of the correctional <coughs> service uh, has a problem with the sitting arrange arrangement. He then saw the said member hitting accused number three with the shoulder to such an extent that accused number three nearly fell uh, to him. The said member further dragged him with his leg uh, in order for him to sit properly. He says that he did not take time uh, of that. That is the only thing that uh, happened, my lord. Thank you. <coughs> yes, Mr. Nian. And as it pleases the court, my lord, my, lord, my instructions are that um, accused number five um, was uh, bumped by accused number two as he's being pushed from by as, as as the accused number three was pushed to him and he bumped accused number five. That is all that happened according to him. Then he was surprised because he was not even paying attention what was happening. <coughs> So the accused number one and two were not involved in the scaffold. Not my lord. Mr. Mgomezo, your clients were not involved in the scaffold. They, they were not involved. <coughs> the, the gentleman there, what's your full name, sir? Who's the LS James? Come here in front so that I can hear you. Yeah, we have full names, sir. Yes. I'm not taking anything under oath, okay? That's why I didn't even want to uh, accuse themselves to tell me what has happened. But with you, you, you are not represented. Yes, sir. So, so you can tell me, if you so desire, you can tell me what you say happened. Hello? I do not have a problem. Hello? I do not have a problem. Yeah, okay, fine, no problem. Yeah. So, just moments after the uh, general shot that came in, mm. all the crews were standing, right? But, say, five minutes or six minutes later, you went, went out. At choose number four, was sitting. Can I, can I 
by any chance to show how he was. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. So I I took some time, maybe a minute or so. Then I stood up and then shouted in Duli. I'm not familiar with their names. Duli, you cannot sit like that. This is court. So he was like, no, you're not gonna tell me what how to sit here. And then I came closer. I was like, no, you, you are going to sit proper way. Three of them were howling now. Sangokshaya, if you start this thing of yours, can I can I just go back a little bit on the fifteen? On the fifteen, it was a Wednesday this month. There was an issue of such as of, of some sort. They, they started one by one. They see that that way. He's the, the fourth uh, suspect was the one who started the whole thing. Then I on the on the fifteenth I came and I was like, no guys, we cannot allow each other to sit like that. This is a court. Yes, it is an adjournment. But now you can stand, you can sit like in a proper way, but you cannot sit on top of that like I I, I just showed. So so later on my colleagues, I was talking with my colleagues that listen, tell me if I'm doing the right thing, the wrong thing. Are they sitting in a proper way? Then they were like, no, this is wrong. Okay, I let it loose. And I was like, no, maybe when we go down, we need to address them. Now, before we went down, one of them, I cannot recall which one of them, he was sitting this side, facing that. Can I show you? Was sitting like this. I even shouted again. I even shouted again. Listen, you cannot sit. This is not a proper way of sitting. Luckily enough, the orderly, the, the lady, saw it. So now we went we went down. It was an achievement again. I called it in the cell. I was like. I, I tried to, to stop this thing, and you were howling at me. I was a bit not sure to, to call you into order in front of them. So they were like, no, this is not your job. You cannot tell us. Your only job is to escort us to here. And I was like, that's why by you are not getting it right. You are my, my truth as long as you are in front of me. That is why I'm forever standing there. I'm watching you. I'm observing. I'm monitoring every movement. So I tried to speak to the order to, to perhaps speak to the prosecutor or, or, or you. Then he was like, no, she's, she's going to take it out. We're fine with that. Indeed, the following days, everything, before they could start, they would check if I'm there. If I'm not there, I don't know what, that, what way they would, would be went away. So I, I, everything just went well to show that they followed my my instruction. So coming today, I I I, I called. I said, Nduli, you cannot sit like that. Then they howled at me. Suzokshaya Tina, if Usonelala. Then I was like, okay, if that's the way, you can you, you can you can you can fight me if you want. But you are going to, to sit very well proper and proper. Then I tried to pull to uh, I choose number three was Chelsea. I went down like I was kneeling, going for I choose number four. Then I saw a blow coming on my way. The first one was this one was I choose number three. And number five. Number four, the way I was dragged back. Eventually my police came closer. But now they were all standing. The other two which, which didn't do anything. I choose number one and number two. In the nutshell, that's what happened. Uh, all the other thing, I'm happy that the journalists were holding their phones. I think there's a full clip as to what exactly happened.
Okay, is that it, sir? That is. Mr. Baloui, anything to add? Or which you saw? Well, um, our observation is according to what has just been described now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with the mics now? I don't know. Nothing. As we're talking, nothing has been captured. They sometimes turn like when they are red. So when they are red like this, mm. nothing has been captured. At the moment, anything can be captured? Now they are on. Now they are on. <laughs> Where do you see they are on? They are red. They are red. And then when they are not on, they... Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Can you give me the criminal procedure act then? It's what, section 159, is it? Is it the proceedings taking place in the absence of an accused? No, no. Just how decorum must be conducted in court. Just, just read it. I think it's down there, yeah. 159. It's a general applica application of uh, if proceedings are being disrupted by whomever. But you see here, the problem is I wasn't in court, but I think that injunction is still applicable. Well, Section 159.1 deals with the circumstances where an accused conducts himself in such a way that the proceedings cannot proceed in his presence. Yeah, just, just interpret for the accused because it's in English. Is that correct, please? Okay. Sir, you can go back to your post. So um, the only relevant section will be yeah, sec fine, yeah. section 159 in brackets 1. Uh, the headings, circumstances in which criminal proceedings may take place in absence of an accused. If an accused at criminal proceedings conducts himself in a manner which makes the continuance of the proceedings in his presence impracticable, the court may direct that he be removed and that the proceedings continue in his absence. Uh, Anybody has done anything wrong because I wasn't here. But I've been told that there was some undignified scuffle which took place during the tea break. <clears throat> and my only admonition is we all are adults. We must just behave like adults. That gentleman, Mr. Uvusi, has got a job to do. If he does it obstreperously, with, meaning out of the bounds of the decorum of the court, obviously he will be wrong. But from what he's demonstrating to me, he's also responsible. And I'm not saying you're going to run away and escape, but we have had instances in court where accused people get out of court and run away. He's got his own brief as to how people must be seated. Are they under handcuffs or clients? Hello? Mine is on deck. All, mine yeah. is on deck ions. Hello? He's on deck ions. Deck ions, fine, yeah. So let's just behave. I'm not making any finding. That's why I didn't want anybody to swear, to say he's going to tell the truth, nothing else but the truth. <coughs> so help me God. 
Let's just behave ourselves. There's nothing wrong with you stretching. You can even jump. I mean, but if the gentleman believes that maybe that is not the decorum we should be adopting, I think he's entitled to have a word with you. But this one of fighting, like in our parliament, and I'm saying it advisedly, because our people watch these things. In our parliament, I once saw a president being rushed by certain uh, parliamentarians to such an extent that there was alarm at parliament and the security had to go and assist the president because it was under the impression that he's been attacked. We don't need that. Ubuntu. I hate you talking about you can't eat before somebody at Peggy, the jela jela mushroom. When you have a sandwich, you share it with your colleague. The same thing here, if we are all not satisfied with the conduct of Uvosi, or number one, number two, number three, number four, you can resolve that by speaking. I Ubuntu. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. In Cantolo, it gave me back or in a guy, it be the moon to go to Ezra, Azoma, or go to get. I used to feel like this more go to ban on the Taliban on the Natala, or the Nigerian citizens, where you can go to get Sibatala, Galan, I get or in Ganela, we are calling you swan. Oh, my go, go tea, Ukona, the Vienna, Mr. Jack, Akshil of Ninag, we are calling you, I go to get manje, who say, Bessie, Shayana, we are the Foot 